I know what you're thinking. Libraries, really? They're not just for books. There's so much more you can do, and I'm here to tell you all about it. Stay tuned. Hello, I'm Derek, and welcome to Hindsight 101, where you're learning about things that will help you in everyday life. Now, I'm gonna to talk to you about libraries, and I know I haven't been to a library probably since I was in high school, so totally understand, like who cares? There's nothing there, there's you know some books, you can get DVDs, you can get video games, some audiobooks, blah, 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 but nothing really that good. They have revamped it. And when I went there, because I took my son for reading time, and I was perusing some of the stuff they had, and I'm like, what, you have this, this, and this? It blew my mind. I I was like, I need a library card real fast. So just to kind of go over some of the stuff, and a lot of it has to do with kind of like videography and audio and all this other stuff that you can do. But there's so much, you can run like a little business out of there if you want to at a very low price. So let's get started. So first they have video and audio recording. And I'm not talking about some cheap setup either. They have your own little sound studio. At least this is at my library. You'd have to check yours, it could be different, but mine, you can uh, record music, a podcast, or whatever. So a lot of people I work with, I help them with their podcast. And I tell them, if you don't have a space that you can record in, just rent some time at the library. All you have to do is just take a little class. They teach you how to use the equipment, and you can sign up for an hour block of time, whatever you want. And if you need more time than that, then all you really need to do is just, you know, get a friend to sign up, and then you sign up one hour, they sign up one hour, and then you got two hours. So you got to have some friends. But anyways, this is great. And then it's not just some, you know, they're using the free software like Audacity or iMovie or anything like that. They have the full Adobe updated suite. I'm talking Photoshop, I'm talking Premiere, Audition, Lightroom. They've got everything for free. It costs you nothing. You just bring a flash drive and you can do whatever you want. Granted, you can't really do a lot of professional work because like I said, you only have hour blocks of time, but still totally worth it if you're just starting out and you need equipment or anything, you can use their space. And it, it's pretty nice equipment, not the cheap stuff. I'm not saying it's the high end or anything like that, but it's middle of the road. It'll, it's decent enough to get you good sound quality or get you decent video quality if you want. So next they have 3D printing capabilities. And this was a really cool thing because, and I'll, I'll link it below up because I can't pronounce the name, something with an E, where uh, this company sells a lot of camera accessories. And I really wanted this one camera accessory. It's called the Flex Tilt Head, but it's like $400. But the cool thing this company does, they'll sell you, well, they'll give you the plans for free on how to make it uh, through a 3D printer, and they'll sell you for like 30 bucks all the screws and bolts that you need to put it together, as long as you have a 3D printer or access to one. So I was like, okay, I downloaded the plans, sent them to the library, um, they charged me so much money. It's, it was, it's, I think total, it was like $22 for the pieces, and then uh, the company's shipping me all the little parts and pieces, put it together, done. That's it, so it cost me a little over $50. I mean, it's not the same quality as the $400 one, but $50 for almost exactly the same thing, totally worth it to me. And I didn't even know I could get that done because I wasn't gonna, after the horror stories I've heard about 3D printing, it's like, nah, I don't want one. But yeah, this is great. Have somebody else deal with the hassle and all they do is just charge me and I go pick it up. Perfect, I just email them the plans. So next, uh, I've mentioned before in my money saving tips video, I'll, I'll link that somewhere, uh, but you can get access to lynda.com. So lynda.com is a free uh, learning site where you can learn all about different things. I'm particularly interested in videography, so I do a lot of things about like interviewing and lighting and sound and all this other stuff, and it's all for free. But if you go straight to lynda.com, you have to pay for it. So you get all this free access to all of this free video training tutorials for free. It was great, love it, never knew it. I, I use it all the time now. I watch it just as much as I watch YouTube now. So definitely worth it. If your library offers that, I would definitely sign up for that as quick as can if you like learning new things. Um, it's very hands-on, you can watch instead of having to read some book or anything like that, love it. This is other crazy one that I was shocked about. You can rent hotspots. And I think you could, for, with, with my, my location, you can rent it 21 days at a time for a fairly cheap price, but it's not something sustainable. Like if you didn't have Wi-Fi, you would just keep doing it because it's only a limited amount. But say you were going on a trip and you pre-planned, you sign up for it to get it, it's, it would be great. So you know how hotels have horrible Wi-Fi, now you can have your own little hotspot. Uh, I, thought, I thought that was amazing. I didn't know they gave it out. So in a bind, definitely worth it. 
So this next one's for people who have some ancient stuff, like they want to con convert cassettes to MP3, uh, VHS to DVD, stuff like that. Or you have um, pictures that you want to digitize. Like they have all that software, but that's been around for a while. So that's not really a big deal. But if you didn't know about it, it does those things. But on the flip side, like I said, you can run your own business. It has um, t-shirt printing that you can do. It has those uh, Wacom boards that you can, you can write on and draw with. You can use those. It has uh, faxing, scanning. Uh, you can only send a fax out. Uh, scanning's for free, but you have to pay for copies. But it's, you know, relatively low. Uh, but also, they have meeting rooms. So what I do is I do meetups. If you don't know what meetups are, meetups are, you can go on their website and there's tons of stuff. People make groups about whatever you want. I'm interested in YouTube and podcasts, so my meetups are about that. And people will come and learn about whatever I want to talk about. And But I never have a place to have these meetups. I don't want to do it like a Barnes and Nobles or something. So I can do a meeting room at the library. And the great part about that is it's free. I reserve it. But say I was having a meeting and... I, for, I didn't have enough pens or I forgot to do this or some paper or a flash drive. You can actually buy it at the library. They have supplies you can buy there, which I thought was crazy. They're cheap and chintzy, but in a bind, they'll work. I wouldn't say they're the highest of quality, but, you know, they're also not too expensive either. So now let me know what your library has to offer. Comment down below. I'd love to hear from you.